Well, we're already over a month into this study in Romans. This is week five. Oh, it thrills me to be able to go through this book and what we're gathering. Why, well, if you hadn't, if you hadn't uh, been listening to this study in Romans, go back, go go back to March the thirty. I I want to I want to encourage you to go back to June the twenty first of two thousand and twenty one and do the in him scripture study and then come right on in to this study in Romans. I'm telling you, it I, it has done something in me that I can't explain. This thing has been downloaded thousands of times, and I, I just I, it just thrills me to be able to give you the the resources free of charge to 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 listen to this and and find out in your own heart what God is saying to you in His Word. Who you are in Jesus Christ will put you in a place of strength, not in your own goodness, not in your own righteousness, but in what God has said in his word about you. That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about, because if you can find out who you are in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you can come to a place that you're stronger than you've ever been in your life. And you can come to a place, I've said this over and over at the jail, that you can come to a place that you cannot be defeated and anything that you set your heart to, you can accomplish and you can overcome anything. You can overcome anything if you'll find out who Jesus Christ has made you to be, who God has made you to be in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Stand on those truths. Stand on what God is saying. Don't don't let the devil deceive you ever again. You know, the the only way that the devil can beat you is for you to believe his lies. I don't want you to ever believe another lie ever again. If you'll get rooted and grounded in this word, I promise you, there's nothing in this world world that comes against you can defeat you. Now, listen. Go to go back to June the twenty first of two thousand and twenty one, and get in this in him scripture study, and then come right on through this this study in Romans. I, if if you if you're hesitant at it, go back to last Thursday and last Friday and listen to those two podcasts at what Jesus Christ done for you, what you can expect through the promises that God has made us in his word. Do that. Listen, go back and find out who God has made you to be. I want you to know these prayers are very important to everyone. And I pray that you listen to these prayers every time we do this podcast, because I want you to understand what these prayers are for. Paul wanted the Ephesians to know and understand the love and the mercy and the grace that God had for them. He wanted their eyes open to that fact. And I pray today that the world we live live in, every person that walks face this planet comes to know and understand the love, the mercy, and the grace that God has for each and every one of us. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for... uh, and your love for God's people everywhere. I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church, 
And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now, all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he He shows me and, and gives me the understanding that I need every day of my love, life on just how much he loves me. Oh, that thrills me. And it thrills me to be able to proclaim that to you, that if you will listen to his word and, and abide in what he has said, believe what he has said, you will see and understand just how much God is for you just how much he loves you. Glory to God. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you. God, for your word, guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. I'm going to be right one scripture down today. Uh, Romans 3 or 4 and 14. It says, For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the prom- promise made of none effect, uh, none effect. Remember what we talked about yesterday? It said, For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed, through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. And then it goes on. It says, for if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void. And the promises, promise made of none effect. He, he went out, Paul went out of his way to make them understand that this was all because of faith. It had nothing to do with the law. It had nothing to do with how good they were but it had to do with what they what they believed, faith in what they believed. As you see, I, I remember, you know, my, I told, I've told this a lot, but I mean, I just, I know in my heart what happened on, on uh, January the 23rd, 5th, I can't remember when it was, but, you know, when, when the devil attacked me, I... I didn't I didn't even know it happened. It had already happened before I ever woke up. I mean, everything that come against me, you know, it was just it was just uh just I didn't know what had happened. But I, I when I woke up days later, I went after I got all the fog out of my head and and, and I come to understand what was going on. I, I proclaimed, I proclaimed my healing to my wife sitting right there in that bed, not being able to talk, just stammering and stuttering. And, and you know, she, she, she knew what I was talking about, but it, it, was, it would have been hard to understand for anybody else. But I knew that in my heart. I didn't receive my healing because I was a law-abiding Christian. As a matter of fact, you know, the law, I don't even, I don't, I don't even think about the law. Now, now uh, you say, well, you just do just anything? No, absolutely not. I, I, but I do, do not allow 
the law to hinder me into thinking or deceive me into thinking that 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 anything that I've done merits my salvation. See, I lived that way in a lot, lot for a lot of years. So when I when I when I proclaimed my healing, it wasn't because I thought God owed me something. Now, if you'll go back through Romans, through this study in Romans, you'll you'll get what I'm talking about. It wasn't because I, I didn't proclaim my healing because I thought I'd I'd been good enough to receive it. I'd I'd been I'd done something to uh, to provoke God to do it. No, I done it because I had faith in Him that He said He would do it. Why? Because I, Jesus Christ is not only my Lord and Savior, but my healer. And I stand in that. And when I came to myself and come to understand that I'd been attacked, I'd been, I had, the devil, he, com, or he attempted murder. He tried to kill me. My oxygen, oxygen level was down to 30% a regular oxygen level for a normal person, and it's a, it's a hundred. It was down to 30%. If that flight would have been just a little bit longer, I'd have died. I, I, there's not a doubt in my mind. God knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing because I'm telling you, everything worked out perfectly. My, it just, you know, the, 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 uh, the hospital, or the, I'm, I'm sorry, not the hospital, but the, the flight attendants, they got oxygen. They, it, it just worked out. And God saved me from dying. You know, why I, you know why I think he saved me from dying? Because I know without a shadow of a doubt that he has something for me to do. I had a, 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 a nurse practitioner uh, tell me the other day, I went. I went to have an X-ray on my chest, check see if there was any pneumonia left. And uh, she said, "It sounds like to me God's got something left for you to do." And I, well, I know that in my heart. I know it without a shadow of a doubt. But I didn't. I didn't get over not being able to speak. I'm talking about my wife said you. You couldn't understand a word you said. Sound like you was had had been a deaf for your entire life. See, see, it did. It was really sounded like I had been deaf for my entire entire life. And she said, "I I didn't, you know." She said, "There's just unreal. What? what just all of a sudden, days later, I'm speaking again, talking, and you 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 just it's just unreal what God had done for me." And it wasn't because I was a good guy. I've done, I've, I've been through some, I was a rounder at one time, just to be honest. But yet, faith in him and what he has done, I know in my heart that I'm going to, I'm going to spread this word more and more every day from now on. I mean, this this podcast goes all over this planet, and it thrills me. It thrills me to see people what what they're how they're getting it. It thrills me to go to this jail. I was in that jail four times last week, four days. I was in that jail, and it thrills me to to be ministering to one of those inmates. And you see the the light come on in their in their head, in their eyes. You know they they get it. They come to understand that they're not who these judges and, and prosecuting attorneys has made them out to be. Yeah, they may have committed the crime, but they've been born again now. They've been given eternal life through Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. And it thrills me to be able to do that. To see that happen in these men's life, and you know, I go in these pods, and they say, "Well, we we have a we've started a Bible study in here, and I, that's great because it's something that that they need. That's the reason we do this podcast. It's something that you need. You need to be strengthened 
and lifted up through God's word. But Paul was telling these Romans, he said, look, he said, look, abiding by the law does not. Let me read it again. again. It says, for if they which are of the law be heirs. He said, look, if you can get to become an heir like Abraham did by abiding by the law, he said, faith is made void and the promises made of no effect. And when you come to understand that, that all this is by faith, all this, we can stand in God's word and come to understand they heal back us to the hilt. I know without a shadow of a doubt what he's done in my life since Janu- the end of January. And, and up, until, up until then, I saw what he had done in my life up until then. God's faithful. He's faithful. And all he wants you to, be, to, be, to do is be faithful. Faithful and believe what he said. Have faith in him. Your righteousness is by faith through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. 2 Corinthians 5 and 21 says, He, who is he? God made him, who is him? Jesus, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be the righteousness of God in him. How is that possible? Through faith in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Hey, I promise you, Uh, You can't do enough to buy that, to buy that privilege. No, you can't do enough. But you can, I promise you, be the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, by faith. Stand on that promise. Stand on what he says. Uh, Faith is not made void by by the law or us abiding in it and walking by it. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you not to, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say this, that you can't work hard enough to receive what, what you need from God to be, live an eternal life in his kingdom through Jesus Christ. That, that it, salvation is not by the law. It's by faith in Jesus Christ and what he done. Stand on those promises. Believe those promises. Believe without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus Christ come and died on the cross for your sins and was raised on the third day for your justification and stand in what all these scriptures that we've been going through since since June of 21st of last year. Do you understand that we've been going through these all this in him scripture study, this study in Romans, that I'm telling you since June of last year, June the 21st, of 2021, we started that in him scripture study. And then March the 30th, we started a study in Romans. And it goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. Find out who you are. Find out who you are. But most importantly, if you've never been born again, be born again. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life. Make him Lord. Allow him to come into your heart. Invite him in. Say, Lord, be my Lord. Be my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead, and I'm going to accept you as my Lord today by faith. By faith in what? By faith in what he done. Not what you did, but what he done today. Glory to God. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life. Romans 10 and 9 says it's easy. (laughs) I'm telling you, it says it's easy. I'm not, I, I'm saying it's easy, but Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's easy. Confess him as Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Now, hey, listen, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. I want to invite you to get get in contact with us. I want to invite you to go back 
to June the 21st of 2021 and go through that complete in him scripture study and right on into this study in Romans. I promise you, God's word will set you free. It'll set you free if you'll just get in it and hear it. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. It don't come by reading. It comes by hearing. And I want you to hear what God's word has to say to you. Glory to God. Uh, get in contact with us. If you got a prayer request, send it to me. I want to hear what what you need God to do. I want to hear what God's doing in your life. If you've got a if you've been saved, listen to this podcast. Send me send me your testimony. If you got a prayer request, send me that prayer request because I want to send you God's word on that prayer request. I want to send you that word and agree with you on that word that your prayer request is answered. Glory to God. I'm telling you, and this is something that just thrills my heart to hear from people that they're being set free, free through the truth in God's word. Now, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you. Thank you so much for all that you do sowing in this ministry to help us do what God has commissioned us to do. And that is to give his word away free of charge to anybody to listen. And partners, you got a part in that. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigal son dot com.